Hello my friends, welcome back, Natalia with you. Well, I should face you time from time, but you know what, what I'm thinking. When I get start ready, I will spend what, half an hour or more to just get ready for the camera to face you. Instead of that, I will record video already in that time. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I will be face to face to you sometimes, but today, let me show you just a little bit of my shopping wallet damage nothing really major nothing expensive but i bought a few things at the dollar store and i thought it would be maybe interesting for you and maybe you will get some tip from me that will work in your crafty zone because we all crafty people we love um, organize our stuff and maybe my idea that I was just for no reason went to a dollar store and I got a few things that maybe will help you as well. But first thing I want to show you what I purchased, it's this sketchbook. It's four dollars. Do I need this book? Absolutely not. Why I bought it? It's just because it's beautiful. And I hope this sticker will come clean without damaging my first, you know, cover. Oh, how do I not like this stickers? Okay, maybe we will do nice and clean. Let's check it out. Sketchbook. And I have so many of them. Thank goodness the glue is coming out easy. And mostly of them all clean. And I just collecting them, collecting them. Just because it's a pretty cover, because I like all those, look at the shiny thing. It looks like acrylic pour pictures that you see all over right now. And it has those good pages. One book I bought for this page is because you can watercolor, I think, in this one. And I got one time one book just for those pages, so I can try from these pages to do some crafty items that maybe one day I will have time to share with you. But for now, I mean, for four dollars, it's a really thick, lots of pages, and it's just gorgeous. So. I got this book for no reason, not like I need it, it's just because it's beautiful and I like shiny stuff. They are out of my system now. <laughs> now the other thing I purchased and I do need this, it's this kind of uh, baggies. Mm, maybe dollar $1.25, I don't, I don't remember how much I paid for this one. And I think it should be 10 of them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 of the see-through sheer bags. And I purchased them for the reason, because if you saw my video when I collected my lavender flowers and when I went to dollar store, I was like, oh my God, the lavender color, perfect for my lavender flowers. When they dry, I'm gonna put in each of them, tied up with this ribbon, and just can spread it out, you know, around the house as a gift, put in my trailer, it would be wonderful. So I'm just like, yes, perfect, perfect color, because I was looking for some of them to have like a white color but this is even better so 10 baggies of this and I'm happy with this one now I'm gonna have a lavender all over my house so my next purchase I saw this container and they have in two colors one is aqua I think and the pink one and I'm just thinking it would be probably good for well obviously this is storage box for supplies you can see up there for the stitch and stuff so i thought maybe this good idea to have them and let's open and see one on the store was open so i kind of tested out this containers 
and I like idea that container itself can we zoom out a little bit more no this is 100% uh, they have a handle and pink itself but I like the containers are white and it's see-through because if that would be like a solid color of pink that you don't know what you have up there but this way uh, look at there's some buttons mismatched pieces you can store on a top and then you have these pieces and let's see how easy to get them okay pretty easy there's like a little grip that holding on the bottom in here and a little bit on the top and then we have this like it's holding pretty tight start before I break my nails so you have one two three four five little containers up there separation and I think it would be awesome to put in here uh, floss and the bobbins like for example if you have a whole bunch of let me see in this picture I already broke it um, see those uh, long one threads thin skinny one they would fit perfectly in here to organize them uh, also I think one of this I will organize and put uh, needles uh, first of all I have different kind of needles like for the stitching needles beaded needles cross stitching needles so I have different variety it would be perfect the spaces to organize certain uh, kind of needles some buttons maybe um, there's uh, so much varieties of this and then we have in here on the top storage like a carousel and then we open the whole bucket is empty that you can put some knits and bits and scissors and other stuff that you don't want to be visible for the eye and here you go you close with slit so I think this is, is awesome containers. I don't know, you can store lots of stuff in here. So how many of them? One, two, three, four, five of this size plus on the top and the inside. So that's not bad at all. I like this idea. So I bought one to try how this is gonna work and if I like it, I can purchase uh, more, maybe in different colors. So I know exactly which color for what. So this is another idea for you and yes this is four dollars also is it the price tag yes four dollars same as the book now my next thing that I purchase and I always buy them when I see it's a baseball card folders and they only dollar per eight sheets and if you follow me a long time on my YouTube channel that you probably saw already, I have two of these big organizers that filled with diamonds. And if you are new of my viewers, don't hesitate to subscribe and help to grow my channel. I do appreciate all my new viewers. And I store my diamonds in those, and this one is pretty stuffed very very full pages and pages of diamonds I separate them by the color not by the DMC codes so I need to get another of this book usually at Walmart you can buy for ten dollars maybe you can find somewhere cheaper but I mean this book is full 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 barely i can close with leftovers of diamonds so i need another book and that's why i bought four of this so this is some idea for you how to organize your diamonds if you have um you know leftovers okay where are we gonna put this book somewhere far away oh okay so yeah i but another two and I think I have already some in my stash so this will be for my uh, diamond painting leftovers also what this good because see how you have a nine packets on one sheet 
if you do for example your nails and you have some stickers it's good to collect stickers uh, nails decals so it, there's a lots of things you can collect in those sheets so this is really something good and neat that dollar have only for a dollar if you are canadian if you are in usa it's probably going to be cheaper for you so then i walk through the crafty space in a dollar store i saw this awesome organizers uh see through with the zipper all the way and i pur purposely bought one of each color that they have up there so i got red pink blue and black beautiful colors and i'm gonna show you what i got them for and then i have this one from a dollar store so for example if i have a blue of this this will go with the blue folder and um let's see there's not much to match in here colors so i have two orange but well, didn't have too many different but this is really like silicone very very soft smooth to the touch has good quality zippers on it and this one is two dollar fifty and this holders is dollar twenty five so why i purchased them it's for my cross stitching i decide to reorganize my cross stitching so for example i put in here already one cross stitch that just to show you uh example how this gonna work i have in here my cross stitching that i already finish the only thing is left to, to do uh, back stitching so that's my poppy flowers uh powdering i keep in for now all the piece of paper well this is instruction that i can kind of throw away in the garbage i don't really need it but i'm keeping it for now so uh here is my how i kind of store in a bag that i had before from original packaging right this was with the ziplock bag which i still gonna keep it uh, i'm not gonna throw away i might will even put in here this one uh when it's after wash and put in this container that i just purchased uh, brand new canvases that i need to work on but for now been time being is it's not finished yet and this is how it's look like just to give you a reminder this is already stitched I'm really happy with the colors and everything and it will be so much more better when we put uh, back stitching yet and then don't forget lots of beginners asking me a questions what to do like all those you know lines they are washable don't worry and even if you see uh, some colors coming through uh, it's all will dissolve after you wash for example, I was gonna not show you, but I'm just gonna show you a little peekaboo because I almost finished and I wanna show you, I promise to show you this puppy when it's already done. But we can see that the grids and numbers all showing through the threads. Don't worry, this all will go away after we wash canvas. All this canvas will be nice, pure white. I hope so. Uh, and I do have tutorial how I wash my canvas please watch that video uh, everything from beginner to the end I wash and you will see the transformation of the canvas so yes this one is a little bit uh, so what I'm planning to do right I'm gonna keep in this folder uh, papers that belong to this canvas it fit you see how it's fit perfectly also you can buy to keep papers even more safe uh, instead of and i have them but not with me for example this clear sheet but one packet not like nine packets like in here so you can put those uh, in a separate packet and then put in here um, because this one canvas longer than uh, this folder I don't have problem to fold on half and put in here now this little ones and I'm gonna use because it's kind of you know 
orangey colors and this one orangey so why don't we experiment and do this I'm gonna do uh, okay so for this one I have idea to put my threads in here so they are all neat and nice and because I already finished this poppy flowers uh, from the canvas I write down all the DMC code to my number so when it's I finish backstitching and then I need to rewind them to the uh, little bobbins uh, I will know the DMC code to each color so that's another hint for you just write down everything over your number uh, and because it doesn't fit like flat so I did a little bit on an angle so I know each DMC go on the top of the numbers uh, so if this one doesn't fit right actually it's probably fit perfectly so I'm just gonna like see this alone threads left because that was the will colors go for the back stitching so rest of I make them shorter so I'm just gonna like roll around roll 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 and it should fit perfectly in here if it doesn't fit we can even fold that this one is fit nice so look at this it's gonna be neat and clean and then I gonna put this folder inside in here uh, some crafty ladies like to have with each stitching their own tools like plus scissors and needle minder everything everything with each tools I think for me it's a money waste uh, to have uh, all tools in each kit instead of that I have my plastic tool which I always use and you can see that um, in my other cross stitching tutorials or wherever I do stitching uh, the one plastic container that I have all my tools that I need and it's gonna go travel with me um, as I do you know working on it I don't need the tools with each, each kit to sit for years if I don't do a certain project yet so I thought maybe this idea you will like to have because for now all my cross stitching store this big Walmart basket that I have and it's big right um, so instead of uh, yeah it's nice organized and safe but if I need to grab with me to go and uh, go somewhere you know maybe for the road um, I'm not gonna bring such a big basket with me so for example uh, I have canvas that I started it's in my uh, room because it's very big canvas and not gonna fit in one of these folders but definitely I can do for example uh, let's say this blue the only thing in here you have to kind of pull out gently without ripping your this little tags and not the text this um, metal pieces so I'm just gonna pull out one more in here and we will see if this will be fit nice and this is my tweezers that I use for diamond painting and I have one in my uh, stitching kit okay so let's see this is the original packaging that came and kind of it's you know it's open up but I still can keep it in here and that's the beautiful design from Let Let It Stitch Cottage. Uh, let's see if it's gonna fit right with the. If I can open all the way to the end. It will fit when I get there because one side okay you have to kind of crank it up first because of this paper a little bit bigger but okay 
Now it's fit nice and flat. Also, now I can put in here my pattern. Also, I will put pattern I could put in those clear uh, protective sheets first. So I'm gonna stack this one in here. So I think this is great idea with this one uh, folders. That way everything store in a very minimum space. If you wish to keep in a basket in your craft room, you can. But I'm gonna tell you how awesome this is. And because it's a blue, we're gonna grab a blue one folder for our threads. But with this company, all threads came like this. And this kinda, you can see the threads that I used. They kinda like left over, I just wrap it back. So it's a beautiful, beautiful colors of threads. And they're not gonna fit in one of this small one. You can put them right inside because it's fit perfectly. Or we can cut somewhere in half, which you have to remember how to cut. Symbol usually on the top and then threads under so I have to make sure remember so it's symbol I have to cut in here without chopping the other symbol and still have a space for this piece not fall out and I just can put them in a small sections um, so yeah for now I probably will do that but for now let's let's check if we just decide to keep it right together with our stitching just like this Look at this, fit perfect this way. So just right now for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna put them right in here and not to worry about chopping right now. And look at this, they fit so nicely. And then the other beautiful thing that I wanna show you how you can store them, uh, now we have two of them where is my other one that I already okay, okay here so now I have two of them organized and I would organize them I might put them in a wrong position but I want the picture to face me so I can see through picture actually so I will re readjust them but they have in here this little ribbons that you can actually grab one of this curtains holder for the bathroom usually they sell them and you can put them on this okay tied it up and store look I can't see it but here you can store them by just to hang in somewhere even in your closet um, and you have perfect solution don't take a much space instead I have you know two basket of this cross stitching with the basket and I and I have in here another one cross stitching that I have I even have a scissors and this is the one that I working on ballerina so I will put all these tools um, at the same focus uh, I will put tools from ballerina as well maybe like in a pink one because it's a girly canvas um, and just to remind you my ballerina I didn't touch for a while but some of you ask me uh, how I do frame when I stitch so that, that's the another tip if you are brand new in here this is regular frame picture from dollar store that I pull out glass and everything and just left with one frame and I just bought this from Staples or Walmart or dollar store you can buy those clips uh, in different sizes whatever you want and I use in here parchment paper just for in case just because this is metal you never know if it's gonna get frosty water drop or something so 
always good to have under your clips some kind of protection so in my uh, example I have parchment paper and this is account cross stitching you can see a little bit of my ballerina start to coming out um, and just to show you do I have in here a picture of my ballerina actually yeah I do just for in case you know you never saw my other video here is the image that's how it's gonna look like so most of this cross stitching created by um, single stitch oh not single stitch how you call it my goodness now I'm half stitch half stitch so the stitches are really really tiny but they are very beautiful and ballerina up there she's getting cross stitch full and background mostly is a half stitch so not much left in here but yes well probably half left so but i do really like i do um, have to work so i have to if i want to take it with me and cross stitch at the campground uh, i'm gonna put same thing into all this organizer and this one will go inside of my portfolio that I showed you in my the other video uh, how I organize my cross stitching and diamond painting if I go camping so this is something a little bit tip for you and I hope you like it it's a short and neat video because I think this will really work well for me as I will travel back and forth, back and forth to campground and back. And even if you travel somewhere on an aeroplane, this is like such a little thing to take with you instead of bucket container. And even in here would fit your uh, tools as well. Um, in my case, it's a plastic tool, which is by my computer. And I'm right now recording on my dining table, so I don't want to get up and get it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you like my shopping haul, a little bit tips on the way. And if you have this kind in a dollar store, uh, I think this is great, great to collect your cross stitching or even different if you crochet maybe. There's so much thing, like usually this is for kids to take to school, their supplies, pen, pencils, stuff like that. But for our, us crafters, this is so good. And this is really, really neat. It's like you still see through, but this is almost like a uh, silicone feeling. It's like silicone, very, very smooth to touch. So I think I'm gonna organize in this one what I have, all my cross stitching. And if I don't have enough, I will go and purchase more. So let me reorganize a little bit and see how much I can put inside and how this is going to look like and I will get back to you. So because I bought only four of them, I organized my four cross stitches. So this is how this is going to look like. And it's so easy. You just go through and look what you need to do. And you just flip this thing to open exactly where you need and that's it basically uh, all your four now nice and neat in the packets and because some of this uh, riolis uh, di um, riolis cross stitching and let a stitch stitch they, they all have because it's two european country uh, this kind of threads you can still can see through right those long ones i decided to keep them in here just like this uh, whatever is the little one for example, like this one it will be in the little folder on the back and from here I see what kind of design I have up there. And also I was thinking uh, for the little one pockets, where's the camera, for the little one pockets. If you have some very like a mini cross stitch and then I got this one one time for the good price, it will fit perfectly in this pocket, something a little mini for you to organize or some other stuff but definitely I have uh, much more cross stitching to organize so I will go to the store and buy more maybe like 
can of this or so so I can organize everything that I have and this is, doesn't take lots of space and if I want to travel and get something I just pull out folder and everything in here so I hope this helped uh, give me thumbs up if you like this kind of video if you decide that this tip kind of handy for you and maybe you will go and look for this but I think this is a great idea you can put inside of your closet and look how much space now taken uh, instead of being a you know on a big bucket one cross stitch organized so yes I'm saying goodbye for now and I will see you next time